everybody, it's me, Dr. Q, with a couple of assistants here. I'm going to take my mask off so that you can hear me a little bit better. Um, and we're going to talk about how to give a dog an Adequan injection today. But keep in mind, just because we're injecting Adequan today, this is a way to give a dog or cat a subcutaneous or sub-Q injection. Okay, so it doesn't matter what the medication is. So let, first of all, let me show you. Here's going to be a 3cc syringe. It's in a sterile case. We're going to pop that lid off there, pull the syringe out, so she thinks I have a treat, but I don't. Next, we're going to get a needle, and your needle might look a little bit like this one. Again, we're going to take the cap off, pop it off. This is a slip tip, so there's screw types and then there's slip-on ones. This is a slip-on one. If it's a slip-on, you got to make sure it's really secure, otherwise sometimes it can kind of slide off. So kind of test it to make sure that it's good. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take whatever you're going to give for the injection. In this case, it's going to be Adequan. Now, you're going to give the dose that your veterinarian has recommended for you. I've already calculated out her dose. It's 170 milligrams for her weight, which is 1.7 mils because it's 100 milligrams in each mil. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this lid off. I'm going to make sure that my needle goes just past the rubber stopper. And I'm going to start to pull the medication in there. And I actually don't have enough medication for her dose. So that's okay. In interest of time, I'm just going to go ahead and go forward. I just took the rest of it out. Keep in mind that as the medicine gets to the bottom here, you might have to sort of bring the bottle up a little bit to make sure that you get the last of the medicine out of the bottle. So this is just about one mil, so a little bit short for her, but like I said, that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is now, I'm gonna try to push up a little bit with this plunger so that I don't see any air in here. When we're giving a sub-Q injection, it doesn't really matter if we have a little bit of air in there, but that's okay, it's still a good thing to get in the habit of. Now, we're not quite ready to give this injection because this needle is now dull, okay? Because it went through the rubber stopper. So at this point, I don't want my doggy to hurt when I give her this injection. So I'm going to take this needle off. I'm going to pull my liquid down just a little bit first to make sure I don't lose any of it. I'm going to take this needle off and I'm going to put a new needle on. You may have the same size, so you might put the same one on. Or in my case, I'm lucky enough that I have a smaller needle and that's the one that I'm going to use to actually give her the injection with. It's going to, it would take a long time, so I'm going to push it on really good because it's another slip tip, right? And then I'm gonna push my liquid medicine back up in here. Now, what I have is just about at the one mil mark, okay? So that's that one, one half, one and a half, two, just down the barrel like that. So now we're gonna give it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, first of all, make sure you have some treats, so don't do anything without some treats. You gotta have some motivation here to encourage your animal to put up with what you're about to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and have Alexi there give her a little treat. Get her ready. You got some cookies coming. Here's another one, Alexi. Okay, and then we're gonna come down here. And we're gonna get this injection about the shoulder blades right here. So we can do it anywhere here that there's loose skin. We can do it in the back of the neck. We just wanna stay off the bone down the middle of the back here. And I usually don't like to give it too much further back than here because there's not as much loose skin here, certainly, as there is here. So what, and I, so I think it hurts less if you do it up here. So what we're going to do is lift the skin up, and you'll see that if you come around maybe this way, you're going to see that when the skin's lifted up, there's like a tent that's made here where I can kind of poke my finger right in there so I'm not going down into the muscle. So can you give I'm going right into this little sort of triangular shaped tent that I've made that you could see if she didn't have so much hair. Mm -hmm. So while Alexi picks it up for me, or you can do it with one hand, I'm going to go right in there, all the way up, slowly go, it pushes kind of slowly because it's a small needle. Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! And that is how you give. Thank you. Injections to a dog. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you right here next time. <laughs>